Okay, so this video is about method overriding. The last thing I really, really wanted to point out with methods, um, if you remember previously, I talked about methods, and then I talked about method overloading. Then I talked about method overriding. Then I talked about recursion. So these are the three main things with, along with methods that I feel like are very useful to talk about. All of them do appear on the AP exam. Recursion is its own unit in unit 10. Method overriding is in unit nine along with inheritance and polymorphism. And then method overloading comes in unit two with introducing objects as well as strings and methods. So that's a little bit of a breakdown. All of these are present on the exam. So for those of you in AP, be sure to pay attention. So method overriding, like I said, it comes in part of unit nine inheritance. And the reason why that's the case is because you gotta understand inheritance before you understand method overriding. That's why I waited this long to hold it off because it requires you to understand inheritance before you know how method overriding works. So previously we talked about method overloading where we had a void method or any type of method actually and then my name. And let's say, how about this? Let's just make it, let's take an int A and an int B. And then what I can just do is I can Right? And then what I can do is I can So what I did here is the method signature is the same, but the parameters are different. And that's kind of how method overloading works. So if you want to review that, you can go review it. But we're going to talk about the final topic I agree should go in with methods, and that's method overriding. So method overriding is exactly method overloading, but instead of having different parameters, method overriding has the same parameters. So identical, so I'm going to say two or more methods at least two methods that have an identical signature and taken the exact same parameters. The key definition of method overriding. So let's demonstrate that. So if I were to do the following thing, so if I had a class and I called it A, what if I decided to override the method having two methods And then I have another method, and I'll call it say hi. And then I'm just going to print hi again. Or I sh I'll just say print hello. So this will generate an error. And the reason why is you can't have duplicate methods in the same class. So this is a form of method overriding, but that's not really how you would properly override a method. It won't work. Your code won't successfully compile. And that's because you can't have two of the same methods in the same class. 
So that's the, this is the reason why you kind of have to understand or you have to understand how inheritance works. So an inheritance class extends another class. So So, what we got? We got a void method. Say hi. And then we just print. Okay? And then what we can do is we can go down here, but the little thing that's interesting is we can add an optional Java annotation. So this right here is called at override. Add override is a special Java annotation. What this annotation means is that it's telling the compiler that we're overriding a method that is in this parent class or the super class. So we're going to make the same method in a child class rather than the same class because if we put it in the same class, we're going to get an error that's a duplicate method. So we're going to get we're going to make it void, and this time we're just going to say hi. And what this is going to do is then, if we decide to make an object, so we have another class, C, main, and then I decide to just make a method out of this. And then I did That's just going to print hello. So what happened? Oh, oops. So what happened here? So what we did is we overrode the method and then we added an object. So we decided to make it from, we referenced the parent class and then we created a new object of the child class. And then we referenced the, and then we made a call to the method printing hello. Okay. So coming back to at override. So at override is an optional annotation. Key thing to write. Although it is optional, I highly do recommend it. And the reason why I recommend it is because it tells the, it's just called best practices. So yeah, if you like know from like notebooks and stuff like that, like when you do notebooks in school, they're like, it's best practices to do these things to like not like do this in your notebook or do this. So at override is considered a best practice when coding in Java. And what it really does is that it tells the compiler that you're overriding a method that is present already in a parent class. So that tells Java a programmer is overriding that is already present in a parent class. So once again, it's optional, but it's highly recommended because it's best practices in Java. All it is is that it's just an optional annotation that tells Java a programmer is overriding a method that's already present, present in a parent class. And that's pretty much it. That's kind of how method overriding works. Just to recap is that method overriding has at least two methods that have an identical signature and take in the exact same parameters. So we had identical methods, they took in the same parameters and they still, and they printed two different things, but it only prints hello because we overrode this method in from the parent class. And that's it. Okay. The program below prints the name of one of Audrey's best friends, Eileen. Override the print name method so that it instead, print, instead prints the name of another one of Audrey's best friends, Jessica. Okay, to successfully override a method in Java, we have to make a child class.
So to make a child class, we make a new class and we make it extend our parent class. So child class B that will extend, well that will inherit stuff from A. Once again, that's just inheritance. Okay, and what we can do is we can do print name. Once again, method overriding is when we have the same signature and the same, and it, the methods will take in the same parameters. We cannot have two of the same method in a class because what that does is that it's going to give you an error saying that you can't have two of the same method. It's going to be method duplication, so you can you have duplicate method print name, and that's not really what you want, right? That's going to give you an error. You can't have a you can't have a duplicate method in a class. So that's why we made a child class that will override a method from the super class. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make it print Jessica. And then what we have to do is we have to come back to our main method and make this B. Keep in mind that method overriding is just a type of polymorphism. So this is kind of why we're morphing the object to, into another kind of form. And we're going to run this. And it successfully runs as Jessica. And we have therefore solved our problem. Okay, so let's review how this worked. So we had a method called print name and it printed Eileen, but instead we want to print Jessica. So what we did is we decided to override the method that would take in null, so no parameters at all. So it'd be a duplicate method, but it's located in a different class because you can't have a duplicate method in the same class. So that's why we made a child class to successfully duplicate the method or override the method. And then we printed out something different, a completely different result using the same method. So yeah, that's pretty much it.